So I bought me a Lee Nelson rabbit block plane and I've used it quite a few times and I really like it. You want to talk about a quality item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take it apart and uh, show you how I sharpen the blade. And I did, it comes with some instructions. You know, it covers uh, the parts to the tool, tells you what they're called and all of that. Also, it talks about sharpening the blade. It, uh, it suggests that you add a five to second degree, or a five to 10 degree secondary bevel. And it also says that the plane comes that the sole is dead flat. So um, I'm just gonna take the blade out here and check that out real quick. All you gotta do is just unscrew it. There, we're gonna take that out. We're gonna go ahead and take the blade out here like that. Yeah dead on but it's a Lee Nelson so I won't I'm not I didn't bother trying to really sand all that or um, grind that all down you can see that I did something right here and that's because I nicked it up and that little spot right here there's a little nick and that left some grooves into the board I was doing so I took some 1000 grit sandpaper and sanded that out now what I do like about this is the precision that it's made with turning the adjustments it doesn't take much before the ba uh, the blade you can engage it into the wood uh, the blade is nice and flat as well so I really never had to do anything to get these things to any part of this to be flat and then there's really not much to a block plane you just got this lever cap right here which adjusts and this works very well as well and uh you can see it's pretty nice, but I am going to sharpen the blade. What I also am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and round out the corners on this a little bit more. They're not really sharp and I really probably don't need to do it, but I am just going to make it just a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is just take my, my 1000 grit stone and it won't take much. A little bit of water on there. I just take it and go like this. Yep, a lot better. Yeah. Now, the, as far as burrs, this edge right here is just super smooth, and so is this one. So I'm not going to do anything to that. I just wanted to go ahead and knock these corners down just a little bit more. So now I'm going to go ahead and work on the blade. Now on the lever cap, I'm not going to bother playing in this down. This is the way it came, and uh, it works fine, so I'm not messing with it. But I am going to work on the blade. I'm going to put a 40 degree angle on the front part here. And on this back here, I'm going to put just like a little bit of a chamfer on it. I'll show you what I'm going to do there when I get to that part. And I'm going to use my honing guide right here. Now this can be quite tricky to get this set up in there. Now this only goes up in there so far. So it's not really like an accurate 40 degrees. It's right around 30 degrees and this can be a, quite tedious to get in here that's about how all I can put that in there it needs to go up some more so I'm gonna get my reader out here and go ahead and see what we're at Yeah, it's going to be more like a 33 degree angle. I can't get it to go up in there anymore, but I'd like to put a 40 degree on it. But that's all right. So all I'm going to do is do this a few times, maybe about 10 times. All 
All right. Now I'm using a thousand grit right here. I'm gonna hit it a few more times. Yeah, I'm good to go there. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drag it back. So that way I can create some burr on the other side, that way to have a nice sharp edge. Now this really don't take too long. Once I get this done, doing this right here, all, all I'll have to do really is just polish it. And it won't take very long to resharpen. Okay, that should be enough right there. Yeah, that's good and sharp. Let's take this out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a 16,000 grit stone here. Same thing, I'm just gonna pull it towards me. I'm not gonna push it. And maybe 10, 15 times. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14. All right. That's all I need to do with that. That is really nice and sharp. Now, well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this. And what I like to do is just keep my finger on the back side of it and just gently push down. Now, if you create too much of a bevel on this side, and because this is a low angle plane and the high part or the angle part faces up, so it's an angle up plane, you can end up creating where the, the edge won't even plane. So you gotta watch how high you, or well, what kind of bevel you put on the very back, back of this. But all I'm trying to do is just really put, uh, polish it. So I'm bringing it to me, then I'm dropping it down so I don't damage the blade. If I were to lift up on it as I'm going, then it would just take away any of the sharpness of the blade. Okay, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do, I got me my scrap here. Or I always add a little bit of oil to it. You can see that I've already added polishing compound to this. It's a scrope anyway, but, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to go ahead and hit this back side with it. Now I could do the front side too. But I'm not trying to put too much of a bevel on that back side. Yeah, that is nice and sharp. And you can see I got like a little bit of it shininess back here. So let's go ahead and put it back together and use it. Very easy to put back together. This, uh, this part right here fits on top of this little round part on the knob. And that's what's going to make the blade go in and out. So I'm going to adjust the blade to be out. All I got to do is just take this. I'm going to just snug this down. Any adjustments I need to do, I'm going to do it with this wheel right here. You can see that the blade moved because the thing the, uh, was really loose. So now what I want to do is make sure that I do have a nice even reveal right here. So it needs to go to the tad bit right there. And then I just make sure that it's even on the outside of the planes here. And usually you tighten it down, it does move. Sometimes I gotta play with it a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna draw this for you. Now this is going to be a low angle plane. I'm just a low angle plane. I'm just going to draw the blade flat so it goes like this. 
and then like this. And then you put on a secondary angle, which can go like this, which you, you know, usually about 40 degrees. This is over exaggerated, but that's okay. Now a back bevel is gonna go back here, so you're really not gonna see it. But if the back bevel was to be like this, then you got your secondary bevel, your primary bevel. What happens is this part right here will glide along the wood and you won't be planing. Your sharp edge won't touch the wood, won't uh, plane anything. So you gotta watch it when you're doing this. I usually like to put here, drag it back maybe a few times and put about a 15 degree, at 15 degrees is what I like to have this at, or a little less. So I'm gonna use this piece of cherry right here. I am going to go right. We're going to do this end first, and then I'm going to. I got a rabbit here. I want to see how well it works on, and then also some end grain. Now I need to adjust the blade down. The thing about this is it just just so nicely. Does a really nice job. Nice and smooth. Now I'm taking off pretty quick. I'm gonna back it off just a tap. And that's what I like about this. It doesn't take much really to uh, adjust it. I can sit here and do this all day. Okay, nice and smooth, works great. Now let's try this. Uh, try it on doing the wrapping the board here that I got. You know what? We're gonna try it doing the end grain real quick. Now that I did this earlier, and the end grain was. Uh, somewhat difficult at times because it, uh, it's cherry. I was doing this earlier, it worked out all right. Now this is cherry, so pretty tough to play. I do got to push it through, but a low angle plane sometimes they're, they can be like that. But overall, it's coming out really smooth. All right, that turned out really great. So let's try the rabbit. Yeah, I mean, you can just see the shavings on that. It's just. And then also, of course, you can just always take it. I did this on a project not long ago. You can just take it and knock off the corners. Yeah, so what really sold me when I was looking around 
is uh, I kept hearing everybody talk about the quality of it and also how well the adjustments are. And yeah, they, they're exactly right about that. When you move these things, they will move. Um, there's very to hardly any play in this one. I do turn it. Uh, this is the only block plan I've really ever used. I was on the market looking for one and I thought, well, when I get one that has be able to do, do rabbits with it as well. Uh, and this thing is, I'm just glad I bought it. It is, a, it, it was quite of expensive, I guess, um, but it was well worth the money. Like I said, just not having to, I've bought planes before to where I've had to grind the bottom or the sole of it. And uh, that's just not fun. It takes way too long. Uh, like I said, when I was checking the bottom of this, I mean, it, when the instructions said, tell you that it's dead flat, I mean, it's dead flat. So that was a relief that I didn't have to go and sit there and grind the bottom out of this. Like I said, the only thing I did was I, I must have set it down. I usually like to lay these down on the sides because I got a habit. If I lay it on the wood, I'm not too bad with it. But if I lay it down, I might lay it on top of something metal. And that's probably how I got my little ding in there. I've done my other planes the same way. So I usually just try to lay everything down on its side. So this way I get in the habit of not having a bunch of dings because once you start to ding this, you know, when I first started playing with it, planing with it, uh, I had that little dent in there and it had a, like a little burr and that burr just kept digging into the wood. So overall, if you're looking for one, I do suggest this, this is really nice, nice quality tool. So that's all, that's all for this episode. I'm Ever Short, the Hoosier Craftsman, Happy and Safe Woodworking.